Gemini, I hope that you are doing amazing. Let me adjust you some. Happy Sunday. I hope you're feeling blessed, loved and protected. Let's take a look, Gems, at what you need to know at this time. Please be reminded this may or may not resonate. The same spiel I say every single time. Check your other readings. Um, check back next time. If this is not your reading, please leave it for somebody else. Use your discernment when you are watching Tarot. Thank you for being here. Thank you to those of you who have liked, shared, commented and subscribed to the channel. I very much appreciate you. Let's get into this, Gemini. What do you need to know at this time? Let's take a look. For those of you who are interested in personal readings, I am doing personal readings for today, but I will be closing personal readings after today due to just not having the time next week to dedicate and put energy into doing personals. And I will be back the week after to resume personal readings. Please email me if you're interested at blackbutterflydiamondtarot at gmail.com. Let's see messages for Gemini. Spirit, what does Gemini need to know? Please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Gemini needs to know at this time. Please keep them safe, loved and protected. We've got the sun. Strength and empowerment. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's air energy. Are you feeling optimistic? Some of you, your mindset is changing. You could be feeling lighter mentally if there's been something that could have been weighing you down. There's something that's alleviating. You're becoming clear on something as well. You could be in a very clear like mind state right now or you're becoming so. There's something that you are changing mentally with your mind state. Or it will be changing. Let's see, Gemini. Messages for Gemini. Some of you could be dealing with a... Another Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius air sign. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. You could have somebody here having an awakening, an epiphany about you as well. Release, surrender, purge, self-worth, expectations. Let go and let God is what I'm hearing. Some of you have released something from your energy and it's giving you clarity. It's like you feel like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. Distance retreat or time out is in the reverse somebody could be coming towards you what is release and self-worth for gemini what is release and self-worth for gemini what is release you're probably in the process of releasing something or this could be somebody in relation to you gemini detachment yeah that's release you're letting go of something Something's being iced out of your energy, Gemini, and you're feeling better for it, or you will. If you don't feel better yet, this is what's going to be happening here. Trust, divine timing, yeah. Tell me about the air energy and sun. What is the air energy and the sun? Attraction, hot Mars energy. This could be making you lack doubts. Well done. You're looking really attractive right now. I don't know if you've stepped into some sort of new carefree energy or something that has been removed or you've removed from your life consciously has kind of changed your outlook. It's showing there's some sort of radiation that's going on where you're radiating some sort of... It's almost like... <sighs> You can see it on you. I can't I can't explain it. Like you you're wearing you're wearing the lighter energy. You're wearing the optimism. Like it's seen. Toxicity. Vanity and pride. Somebody could be having an ego death. This could be a fire sign. Bottom of the deck. Distance and retreat. Somebody could be coming towards you to admit that maybe they were egotistical. Maybe they were too prideful. Maybe their ego got in the way of something here. This is definitely somebody who you um, had a connection of some kind with. This person is feeling sad right now. They could be feeling empty. 
this is somebody who is kind of on some sort of downward spiral toxicity bound patterns vanity and pride somebody's having an ego death and i feel like it's down to you distancing yourself why is this happening now for this person what's going on with this person here dark night of the soul and alchemy oh yeah spirit guides ancestors yeah Spirit is making somebody see something, face something about themselves, their shadow side. Someone's having a dark night of the soul, ego death. This is not comfortable. Somebody's realizing that maybe they were more of a problem than what they possibly wanted to believe in the past. Memories and nostalgia. This could be somebody who you're trying to release or forget. Avoidance, stalemate present abundant gratitude yeah self-care in the reverse you could have felt like this person didn't put you first there's something about you detaching from somebody maybe you felt like somebody was not respecting you maybe you felt like the connection was toxic maybe you felt like this was triggering for you and as you're releasing this you've got somebody else going through some sort of ego death dark night of the soul we're going to grab a deck of cards to see a bit more into this with the moon a lot of emotions here that is coming to the surface for somebody here. There's an energy exchange that's going on between you and a person. It's almost like you're switching places. If you felt like you couldn't get through to somebody, like you was banging your head against the brick wall type of energy, it's like you releasing something here is kind of putting somebody in time out to kind of think about a few things here. Face their shadow side. You could have been trying to tell this person a couple of things, things that maybe could change between the two of you and it was falling on deaf ears and now you've kind of let this go and you're feeling lighter in yourself they're feeling heavy could be a libra i'm seeing a scale in my mind's eye messages for gemini seven of pentacles Somebody's looking at the past, the Empress and the Hierophant. The High Priestess in the reverse. Messages for Gemini. What's the Seven of Pentacles? What's the Seven of Pentacles? The Seven of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Okay, that makes sense. What's the Empress? The Wheel of Fortune. What is the Hierophant? The cards are shuffling weird. Somebody's real, which was really trying to deny like their part in something here, I feel like. They didn't want to see something at all. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Mm, someone's feeling extremely uncomfortable with the Justice card. But this is how it's supposed to kind of play out. I, I did say Libra energy. Uh, the scale. There's the scale. There's the scale. Thank you, Spirit. The High Priestess in the reverse for Gemini. The Four of Pentacles, ah, uh, with the Death card. Justice. It's like someone here is being forced. A little bit lower volume, please. Sorry, Gemini. Someone here is being forced into a transformation. Something's being balanced out. There's the scale, the transformation energy. It's like somebody is being forced to change, to look at something here. You could have moved away from a connection here. For some of you, this is a friend. Devil energy, Knight of Cups. There was a lot of playful energy between the two of you. This could have became toxic. What started off as pretty lighthearted, something that was very nice, something that felt good to be a part of, became very... Um, 
toxic okay and something has come to an end and i feel like something specifically is ending for a person in terms of their outlook on how they look at a situation to do with you gemini this is what i'm saying someone's definitely looking at the past here some of you could be dealing with a pisces some of you could be dealing with a taurus some of you could be dealing strong taurus by the way some of you could be dealing with a water sign here it could be any sign don't get caught up on the sign somebody's looking at the past someone's looking at specifically the time when you was loving to them very open towards them emotionally you possibly nurtured this person you gave this person a lot of your time your care your patience and you could have been met with a defensive energy somebody had a guard up here somebody had a guard up okay Somebody could have rejected you. Somebody could have been giving you the cold shoulder. And somebody's now thinking the person who this is, this one that's having this dark night of the soul, that's having a realization, that's kind of being forced to look at their ego and have some sort of dark night of the soul, um, which has been alchemized through you walking away from them or releasing them, detaching from them, icing someone out, if you like. It's like somebody's now looking at, Things. they're re-evaluating something here with the seven of pentacles somebody views you as very lucky or somebody who is very auspicious somebody who is winning or this is what is about to happen here and it's almost like your success your growth your forward movement is kind of giving pause to this person in terms of them looking at the past and really unpicking certain things their part that they played in a situation this person feels like you dropping them, whether this is past energy or this is going to be coming up here. It's like somebody feels like you dropping them is like a ticket or a passport to your forward movement with the Hierophant card. They could view you as on some sort of spiritual path. They could view you as a leader of some kind, somebody who's very influential, somebody who is... Um, you could be a motivational speaker. You could do something in customer service. You could just be very good at giving advice okay you you're seen as a leader this person definitely views you this way they view you as somebody who's going from strength to strength who's growing in that sense as well they could view you as somebody who's spiritually ascending as well whether they would say it in that way or not this is somebody who views you as somebody who has a direct direct line to the divine like you and god are tight <laughs> me and god go way back yes that's the energy that I'm seeing. Somebody wasn't listening to their intuition in the past. And somebody's actually realizing that holding back from you was a poor choice. Very poor choice on their part. If somebody blocked you, this is not going to resonate if somebody didn't give you the cold shoulder. There was a cold sh shoulder energy. There was an energy here of um, you giving love to somebody and you being met with either defense, combative energy with the five of um, wands. This person could have even have made you fight for their attention even. Maybe they viewed you as somebody who was too nice and that you would always be there. Therefore, they put up a guard. Tell me about this seven of pentacles. What is this person looking at? I feel like grabbing a different deck to clarify, to be honest. Let's do that. Let's do that. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. What is this person looking at? The star that they had everything. They had everything. Everything. I'm hearing everything is you. You are everything and everything is you. Cisco, you are everything. You are everything and everything is you. Could be an Aquarius. With the Knight of Swords. And they run from you. They run from this. This person could have also been fearful of getting too emotionally caught up in something here. This is somebody who's thinking about having everything with you. How they could have. This is like a shoulda, woulda, coulda. This is somebody who's looking back at the past, Gemini. And they're kind of in a period of, you know, I actually could have had wish fulfillment back there. I had it in the palm of my hands person could have just took too long to get it together they possibly ran ran from commitment yeah this person could fear commitment knight of swords and the hierophant you're showing up very strong you're definitely showing up as very spiritual 
And this person is the opposite of you. If you are very much of the 5D, if you are, you know, very connected, if you outwardly are spiritual, you know, or you're religious, it, take it as it resonates. You know, there's there's different people here with different beliefs, different, different um, belief systems, you know, and you could be very much mindful. You live your life in a way where, you know, you do good, you believe in karma, you believe in, you reap what you sow, you believe you have to do good to have good, you know, and there, and, and so forth. And therefore, you kind of move with a lot of integrity, you try to be a good person, nobody is perfect, but you put your, your, your best foot forward at all times, and this person definitely views you as such, even if you're not a guru of some kind, or, you know, you might go to the park and... <laughs> you know, wear no shoes on the grass, which is very grounding, by the way, try it, um, you may not be, you know, like that, wherever you are on the spectrum, somebody really views you as somebody who's very led, and this is, this person's the opposite, with the high priestess in the reverse, this person could in, ignore their intuition, or know that their intuition is trying to tell them something, and do the complete opposite, because they feel like they know best, and it's the ego. They, this person listens to their ego before they listen to the intuition. With the high priestess in the reverse and the ten of swords. And it's they're, they're their own worst enemy. Tell me about the empress. Wheel of fortune. Very, very auspicious. Nine of swords in the reverse. Somebody's losing sleep over you. Your growth. Messages for Gemini. The Two of Wands. Seven of Cups. And the Page of Wands. This is somebody who really, really wants to reach out to you and spark up a conversation. This is somebody who is losing sleep and thinking about the fact that when they had the opportunity to choose, they chose to procrastinate. This person could have been very distracted with what else was out there. This could definitely be a person who, when you was involved with them, Gemini, it was like, mm, yeah, Gemini's okay, but, you know, maybe I might miss something out there. Why is that? Knight of Pentacles. And the Emperor. This is somebody who felt like maybe they could do better elsewhere. This person could have put money before the connection as well. Thought that they were going to have expansion and growth. How did that work out? Ace of Cups. This person really loves money and success. The lovers. They could have connected to somebody else. The eight of wands in the reverse and something something halted here they could have got involved with somebody else through their job or their work and that didn't work out but they chose that over working on something with you with the judgment card and now this person feels like they made a poor choice rethinking a decision the five of cups Somebody feels like you're very disappointed in them. They they feel like they've been rejected, dropped. With the two of pentacles, the five of cups. They feel like to get you to kind of, yeah, with the six of pentacles, to, to give back to them or to go back to them or to be reciprocal or to get that, you know, that queen of cups loving energy all over again. Go back to how it used to be. They're going to have to pull a miracle. They feel like it's a real long shot, even getting you interested. They could feel like you've outgrown them. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Now they feel like you're running away from them. Tables of Turn. There's an energy exchange. The one who ran away from you put up a guard against you to go see what else was out there. Gemini is now wanting to come back in, but they know that they disappointed you and you're probably going to run away from them now. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Five of Swords because of the games that they played. The two of cups in a connection, an ending of a connection. Tell me about the high priestess in the reverse. The magician card, the four of cups, the eight of pentacles. Ah, 
Three of Pentacles. All they had to do was put in some effort. And this person's seeing this now with the hanged man. We've got the Three of Pentacles, yeah, with the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's changing. I mean, the Eight of um, Swords in the upright can talk about, you know, a self-limiting belief. You know, you're being stuck. You're on purpose. Like, you're choosing to be stuck. The Eight of Swords, which is what this person is in here, it's like they're angry that they need to change, but they know it needs to happen. They're angry and frustrated with themselves, to be honest. Because this could be somebody who tried to avoid healing. This could be somebody who tried to avoid facing their demons. Facing the fact that they live in their ego. Facing the fact that they need to be a bit more humble with it, you know. And, you know, this person's going for a change with the Eight of Swords in the reverse. This is somebody who is unsticking themselves. Which is good. They're ascending, but it's, it's a painful lesson because this is somebody who resisted that. Now, the High Priestess is in the reverse from what I'm seeing here it's almost like you know something was alchemized for this person to kind of help them and they ignored it they ignored their intuition with the four of cups with the eight of pentacles the three of pentacles somebody's realizing that if they had worked with you collaborated with you put in some effort was consistent showed up when they needed to show up with the hanged man somebody's realizing that something would have been a good thing to invest in here if they weren't resistant to change why is the hanged man yeah the six of cups in the past somebody's changing their perspective on the past and with the ace of pentacles this is somebody now who is realizing that they had a blessing and they ignored the blessing with you the queen of cups this loving energy you were open to them you were very open to them very patient how does gemini feel the devil <laughs> The seven of wands in the reverse, that you're not fighting for somebody who's toxic. Six of pentacles, you're not giving your energy or time to something that is toxic. Why the devil? The death card, yeah. You don't, you don't want to go back to this. Six of pentacles. Nine of cups, the ten of wands. You're releasing the burden and it's making you happy. Ten of wands is in the reverse with the nine of pentacles nine of cups sorry eight of swords in the reverse energy exchange <sighs> wow anything new first of all would this person take any action the chariot yeah they will they'll come towards you anything else with that the sun yeah they're gonna expose something here make themselves seen, known, especially if there's been a period of no contact. Could be a Leo, Cancer Energy, Eight of Cups, yeah. With the Two of Swords, somebody who walked away from you was guarded towards you. Anything new? Anything new for Gemini? Two of Cups, new connection, new friendship, new partnership, could be a new business relationship as well. Anything new for Gemini? The Queen of Cups. There you go. You're showing up heavily as water energy. Um, Queen of Cups has come out three times. You could be opening up to somebody new. Queen of Wands. This could be another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you wasn't dealing with one in the past, this could just be a fire sign in general. The Seven of Coins in the reverse. The Queen of Swords. You are in an energy of no longer wait, no longer wanting to waste any more time. If you feel like somebody had you waiting or you wasted time or resources or energy on this person who you deem as the wrong person to do so with now, hindsight is 2020 with you right now, Gemini. And I feel like what you're realizing now, this situation has really helped to sharpen you. You know, very intelligent you are. Okay, listen to your downloads, listen to your intuition because it's spot on right now. Okay, you are somebody who's very connected to the divine. With the seven of coins in the reverse, this is an energy of you not wanting to waste your time. So being very cutthroat with who you allow around you in your space. I feel like you were in a situation for quite a considerable amount of time, possibly, you know, trying to work something out with somebody, trying to um, reason with somebody, trying to work on something with somebody. And they just didn't give you that energy back. 
with the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups, I see you opening up to new love. I see you kind of glamming yourself up, okay? If you're a feminine, you, feminine, you could be doing your hair, your nails, getting beautiful, you know, that type of thing. Same thing, if you're a masculine, you could be going for that trim, looking good, using that beard oil, yeah? All of that stuff. And there's an energy here of you opening up to the new. And there's something here about you really not wanting to waste your time. This is the energy of when you meet somebody new, you laying it down from the beginning saying, right, let's see what pages we're on. What are you looking for? And I will tell you what I am looking for. And let's see if we can roll with that. You know, let's cut to the chase. We are not getting any older sorry we're not getting any younger if anything we are getting older life is too short let's be very clear on what we're both coming to the table with and that's the energy that you're really stepping into here if you haven't already and it's very attractive the ace of swords let's be clear what are you looking for? What am I looking for? Very clear, very cutthroat communication. But this is what's going to provide you with very, um, a lot of clarity around you. Very decisive, very, okay, are we here or are we there? No middle ground, no cloudy energy, no confusion. It's either this or that. It's black or it's white. It's red or it's blue. OK, it's the sky or it's the grass. There's no in between with you, Gemini, right now. And this is very attractive. This is what is going to help you to meet somebody who is looking for similar things that you are. Let's not waste any time type of energy. Don't give me no fugazi energy. Oh, maybe wait and see. No, 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 no. It's not for me. That's what you're saying to me. Yeah. Confusion. Thank you, spirit. The seven of cups. You don't want this. Because you spent a long time in this in the past. Somebody definitely could have had you in confusion. There was possibly a time where you didn't know whether you was coming or going with an individual. So that therefore now it's like, you know, is it black or is it white? You know, and this is what is going to be helping you with the three of cups. To connect with people who are in that same energy. Okay, I see you being very decisive here with the nine of coins and it's attractive. I'm telling you, it is attractive with the six of wands, yeah? And that, that is what's going to get you what you want. Yeah, the ten of pentacles. Oh, yeah, the ace of wands and the lovers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this energy. We have the nine of coins, success with the six of wands. We've got the ten of pentacles, long-standing, stable, okay, connections. Be that friendships, be that relationships. With the eight of wands this is like the fast track you being in that energy it's black or it's white okay i'm coming to you frank i'm coming to you laying it all out on the table okay i'm either for you or i'm not for you it's not a wait and see or i don't know what i want no 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 Ge this gemini who i'm picking up on is gonna leave you at standing outside okay with the eight of wands this is like a fast track to some sort of elevated partnership OK, surrounding yourself with people who are very like minded, therefore things are going to move a bit quicker for you. OK, with the Ace of Wands and the Lovers, this is very attractive energy, very attractive energy. And that is your energy. This is going to provide you with some sort of new beginning, new spark, new attitude. OK, because you're in this energy. Love it. Good balance between your water energy, your fire energy the hermit and it's because you've wised up yeah from heartbreak from betrayal from possibly not knowing where you were with somebody and it's creating a new opportunity with the ace of coins and the seven of wands that you're actually it's, it's going to be worth fighting for because i feel like you felt you wasted your time in the past with somebody who you dealt with don't mess with gemini right now gemini will, will cut you off at the door <laughs> You're not coming in if you're coming to confuse me. You stay out there. You stay out there. Gemini, I love you. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. All of the details are in the description block. But if I can speak description blocks. Description block box. And I nearly said it again, you know. If you would like to reach out to me, email me. But until next time, Gemini, thank you for watching. And I will see you soon. You take care. Bye. Mwah!